Friends, many of us live in what's called today a comfort zone, their own bubble, their own circle, and we live a routine life. I know people who, uh, right from school or college, they get average marks, and they're like the school guy, and they just, they just relax. You know, they take things easy, and uh, they're very laid back. They somehow complete uh, college and just get into a pla get placed in an ordinary company with a uh, ordinary salary, and just to take care of themselves enough. Um, then, of course, they go for a uh, marriage, get a wife, child, all that society expects a man to have, and they say, "Okay, now I'm settled. I have income, family, everything settled in my life." Does this comfort? zone, being in this comfort zone. Is that enough? Are we really happy and is that enough for our life? Will it last? Certainly not. <laughs> because things happen in life which shake us up completely. Take this COVID for example, or take big financial trouble in the country or, you know, some big thing happens, a bad news in our family or medical uh, situation. These things come in life, but are we prepared to handle that with our routine life in our comfort zone? I don't think so. That's when the bubble will break and you will suffer. So these people will not know what to do because they're not equipped to handle such problems in life because they just try to hide away from their problems and live a safe life. But when problems come, they can't make decisions, they panic, and it gets out of hand. So think about being in the comfort zone again. Don't try to take it easy and try to pass life by. These kind of people are normally selfish. They only worry about themselves. They don't help anyone. They only care about having wealth for themselves and just uh, being easy through life. They're not helpful to society. They're not helpful to the nation. And this attitude of theirs will spread around in their uh, in their next generation. Their children will also be the same way. Imagine if everyone has this attitude of being very selfish and just relaxing in their own bubble. How will the nation get benefited? How will the nation move forward? These type of people are also very lazy. They won't make the next move. They won't do something new. They won't try hard. They'll just relax. And most of the time they're afraid. Afraid to take a new opportunity. Afraid to grab what is necessary for their life because they're afraid to fail. That's why they come back and live in their comfort zone, trying to live safe. But God wants extraordinary people. He doesn't settle for ordinary. He doesn't settle for comfort. He'll pull you out of comfort and he'll make you selfless people be of use to this world. That's what life is supposed to be about, helpful to someone. Many think that this comfortable path is the safe path, the assured path, but no, God is the one who knows our future and who can properly protect us and guarantee a blessed future. If you're in the comfort zone, he'll leave you to yourself and say, deal with it yourself. And you will have to take all the risk upon yourself. If you take God, he's the best example of this. He left all the comforts of heaven for us so that he can come down to this world and save us from what is destroying us. Save us from the mistakes that are destroying us and to go through all the toughness of the world. He left his comfort zone to come and do something great for us. So you too, my friend, just like Jesus, come out of your com risky comfort zone and come into a surety of God to help others because 2 Corinthians 9, 12 to 14, that's what it says. People were so happy that some came and helped them, helped them and provided for them. The writer says, oh, how much you've made them happy. They were praising God because of all the help that you did for them. And you were able to do this because God has given you abundant, amazing, special grace. That grace is upon you to come out and shine. Don't miss it out, my friend. Let's ask for that grace right now. Lord, from this comfort zone, we want to come out. We choose you. We choose your path. We want to do something great, Lord. We want to be helpful to people. Bless your children. 
to come out of all their comfort and to rise up and shine so that they can be a blessing to the nation. Bless them to do this, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Go out from your comfort zone, my friend. Go out and shine. <laughs>